Welcome to Awning Composer, version 5, Tips and Tricks, Setting Image Transparency with Paint.net. In this video, you'll learn how to make the background of an image transparent using Paint.net. We'll cover both logos and backdrop images. Paint.net is a free image editing program. You can find the download link on our website. Once you're there, click the Support slash FAQ tab at the top of the page then choose Recommended Software from the list on the left. Scroll down until you see Paint.net Download Link and just click the Download. Here in Awning Composer, I've got two traditional awnings with the same logo. The logo on the left has a colored background. In this video, I'll show you how to crop out the background of your logo so it looks like the awning on the right. Okay, let's get started. After you've downloaded Paint.net, Open up your image by going to the File menu and choose Open. Find the image you want to edit, then click Open. The background on my logo is white. To crop the background out and make it transparent, select the Magic Wand tool in the Tools window. The Magic Wand tool allows areas of similar color to be selected. There are two different ways to edit your logo's background. First, to select the entire background of the logo, hold the Shift key and click the background. You'll see everything that's going to be deleted will turn into this blue color and have a border around it. Now, press Delete. This is an easy and fast way to make the entire background of your logo transparent. But in this case, I want to keep this white space in my awning. So, I'll press Undo and start over. The second way to edit your background is simply click the area you want to make transparent and press delete. Because I didn't hold down shift, there are some enclosed areas that were not selected. You can see the white space inside some of the letters and at the bottom corner of the C. To make these spaces transparent, repeat what we just did. So click the spaces, then press delete. Now this looks good to me, so once you finish editing your logo, go to the file menu and choose Save As. Select a folder, enter a file name, and choose PNG as the file type. It's very important to save the image as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG or a BMP file, the transparent area will be stored as white space. JPEG and BMP files don't support transparency. So make sure you choose PNG. So click Save. You'll be prompted with the Save Configuration window. We suggest keeping these settings default and just click OK. Now let's go over how to make elements of a backdrop photo transparent. The process is similar to editing a logo, but you may need to use some additional tools. Here I want to make the sky transparent so that the building casts a shadow in Awning Composer. I'll start with the Magic Wand tool again. Depending on what the Magic Wand initially selects, you may need to adjust the tolerance. If I click the area I want to make transparent, you'll notice the sky and the building are both selected. To change the area that's automatically selected, change your tolerance. I'm going to decrease the tolerance until the only thing selected is the sky. It looks right here at about 29%. Now I'll click delete and make that part of my sky transparent. Since there are different colors in this sky, I'll have to click and delete several times for the bigger spaces. And with these little pieces of sky, I'm going to work around them with the rectangle or the ellipse tool. Since this building has mostly straight lines, I'm going to work with the rectangle tool. To use this tool, click, drag, and release with your mouse. After you release your mouse, you'll see the space you've selected. Now, press the delete key and the area selected will become transparent. Okay, this backdrop is ready for Awning Composer. Once your backdrop image is finished, again save this as a PNG file just like we did for the logo. 
Now you're ready to import your images into Awning Composer. Thanks for watching Awning Composer 5 Tips and Tricks. Until next time, I'm Skylar with the Awning Composer support team.